But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with. For one is given by the Spirit, the word of wisdom, to another, the word of knowledge, by the same Spirit, to another, faith, by the same Spirit, to another, the gift of healing, by the same Spirit, to another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecy, and to another, discerning of spirit, to another, the various kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues, but all these work that one in the self-same spirit divides to every man servant as he will. So when I look at Fermi chapter 12, one of those gifts that the, that the Holy Spirit gives is the gift of miracles. Now the gift of miracle is one of the gifts that the Holy Spirit gives, right? Mm -hmm. Now we understand that miracle when we refer to miracle, it's a miraculous gift. Yeah. It is a supernatural gift. It. It's something that beyond nature and, uh, and science cannot explain. Mm -hmm. It's supernatural. It, it, uh, miracle is not through uh, somebody having a prayer or coming out of an accident. Uh, somebody pray for somebody and they are made whole uh, through prayer. Because the Bible said the prayer of faith saves the sick. Mm -hmm. So those who pray and they pray for the sick, and by faith they are saved, right? Yes. But miracle was performed for a reason. Mm -hmm. Now God gave miracle for a reason. It was a reason why God gave miracle, right? Even from back in Exodus chapter 7, uh, that when God had to prove uh, to Pharaoh that, that the first thing he did, he performed a miracle right. to prove to Pharaoh that he had sent Moses, right? Mm -hmm. It was to establish, to affirm that God had what? Sent Moses to deliver the people and let what? His people go as well. So we see that miracle was to establish or to confirm what God has sent or to confirm of the word of God as well. So we talk about miracle is something that is supernatural. And nobody today are performing miracles. No, no, no. Nobody said, well, I prayed for somebody. And when I prayed for them, I know it was a miracle. But the Bible don't teach that. <laughs> See, I'm going to the state real estate, the Bible of the word of God. The Bible tells us what a miracle is. It tells us a miracle is. Yes. Even when I, before I got here, I talked to several preachers. And, and, uh, and I had one, he was off track a little bit, but I got him on track. <laughs> and then, then I, I had one who, who, who was on the same page with me. Uh, he said the same thing, Brother Red, that there's no miracle performed the day as well. Okay. And, 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 and we need to understand that we need to stay with the Bible, the Word of God, church. Uh, why did God perform miracles? Why do we need miracles today? That's the question. You know, no, 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 that's a natural law healing as well. God healed all diseases, right? Uh, when people come through our wrecks and stuff, that don't mean it was a miracle before. But uh, the Bible tells in, in Psalm, you put out chapter 9, uh, verse 7 through 11, he said that the race not to the swift. It talked about different things. Uh, and, but he said time and chance happen to the law. So, so, so sometimes time is in God's hand. Chance happened to the law. A man can be running a race, and all of a sudden he trip, and he become retarded. He can't run no more. But time and chance happen to us all, right? So we have to understand, even a man can start business, but all of a sudden trouble come in his business. He, his business fail. Time and chance happen to the law. So you got to understand that because somebody come out through a wreck or somebody uh, a delivered from that wreck, that tell me it was a miracle. That's, that's not a miracle. Uh, one preacher told me, he said, well, you know, we were in a prayer circle. And we prayed in this prayer circle. And we, as we prayed in this prayer circle, we told everybody they didn't believe. They just stepped to the side. They said, when we prayed for this person, this person was healed. I said, that's still not a miracle. The Bible said the prayer of faith saved the sick. When righteous people pray, and God answers that prayer, it's the prayer of faith that saved the sick. It didn't say that miracles saved the sick. It said the prayer of faith saved the sick, right? And when we pray in faith, and it's God's will, it's the prayer of faith that saved the sick. That's why James said the fetch your final prayer of 
The righteous man availed much. He didn't say nothing about a miracle as being performed and in that prayer. That's what we have to stay with the Bible. When the righteous people pray, we say, God heal sick people through the prayer of faith mm -hmm. and through the righteous prayer. That's what we need to leave it at. We, we don't need to uh, speculate. We don't need to say that, well, I just believe that it was a miracle performed. Mm -hmm. Just leave with the Bible. The prayer of faith say what the sick, right? Mm -hmm. If somebody come out of an accident, don't say it's a miracle. Mm -hmm. And thank God they came out of it. Amen. No, everybody don't come out of accident. Amen. And then you can be a good person who come out of accident. Yes. You can be a Christian who come out of accident. And a bad person come out of accident. Mm -hmm. So you can't go by that church. Amen. See, Solomon said, I see you where there are people who do evil. They live a long life. Mm -hmm. And Solomon said, I see where people do good, do good live a short life. Mm -hmm. Because time and change happened to us all. Now, 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 why was miracle performed? See, miracle something that is performed. And performed for a reason. Just like I said at the beginning of the lesson. It was performed by Moses to show that God has sent Moses to let his people go, right? And that's what the book says, right? Amen. God had what? Sent Moses to let his people go. Now, why did Jesus perform miracles? He was the Son of God. Mm -hmm. But Jesus performed miracles for a reason. He performed miracles to prove that he was sent by God, right? Yes. In the first miracle he performed, he performed it in a, 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 a Canaan of Galilee mm -hmm. where he turned water into wine. That's a miracle. And if I can say, a pot, sick pot of water here, and, and say, uh, 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 and, and, and just touch it and turn it to wine, that's a miracle, right? That's a miracle, right? But we know that God healed all diseases, right? And when we pray in faith, God healed the sick, right? If it's according to his will. So Jesus turned water into wine, and, he, and, the, and the best was made at last, right? So he turned water into wine. And the second miracle he done, he healed the lower man's son. And, and that was a distant healing. He performed it for a reason. He performed to show that he was the son of God. That's why he performed it. But man can take five barley of bread and two fishes and turn it into a restaurant. That's a miracle. Show me a man can take two, five barley of loaf of bread and two fishes and turn it and, and to a restaurant and feed so many thousand people, I would tell you that's a miracle. Amen. Jesus done it, did he? <laughs> he done it. He, 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 he fed multitudes of people. Yeah. Uh, five miles, and he done it to prove that he was God's son for no other reason. So why would I have to perform a miracle today when miracles are already proven that God chooses God's son and proven that God sent the apostle? Miracles are already done what we're supposed to do. Amen. Amen. To establish the word of God. That's why God performed miracles. Mm -hmm. The noble man's son. Y'all said about the son, the man that had been in bed for so many years. And he could not get to the water. Because when he got there, the multitude, it was too late to step down there to be healed. And Jesus came along and healed the man, said, take up your bed and walk. And walk, right? So that's a miracle, right? That's a miracle. See, Jesus performed miracles to prove that he was the son of God. A miracle when Jesus touched the blind eye. Man never seen before. Yes. And touched his eye. And he became seen. That's the miracle, right? Amen. Uh, but no man today are performing a miracle, even if you come out of a wreck. That's not a miracle. Amen. I tell you one of my preacher friend. He said, well, the, he said, the Greek says, somebody said the Greek, he said, well, the Greek don't say that. That's a miracle. <laughs> See, we like to work with the Greeks that we stay with the book. Amen. 
Because it, it, it's in the book, right? So, so we have the Greek say, but even though it, it's good, to, if you know Greek, that's good too as well. But it, it, if we stay with the book, even though the Greek doesn't say that, you see it. <laughs> but if we stay with the book, we'll remember what the Greek say. Amen. We don't know what we're here, right? Amen. And that's a miracle, right? That's a miracle, right? And when people say that that, that, that was a miracle for them, ask them, can they walk on the water? Amen. What man lives today can walk on water? No man, right? No what man lives today can say, Liza, rise from the dead, right? No man, right? No matter how you fix it, how you want to make it sound, how you paint a picture to make it seem like it's a miracle day, it's still not a miracle. No, sir. But, but you, you don't understand, uh, you, know, uh, you know, God, I don't care what uh, you understand, what does the Bible say? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> what does the Bible teach? Amen. No, 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 you don't understand, you, know, you, you're not, you, you don't see the picture yet. <laughs> I see the picture. Yeah. The picture is that miracle performed to establish the word of God to prove that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. We look at Adam, we look at uh, look at uh, John chapter twenty, verse number thirty. Let's look at that right quick. John twenty, verse number thirty. Look what it says. John chapter twenty, verse number thirty and thirty-one. Notice the word of God. And many other signs. Many other signs. Truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples. In the presence of Jesus and many other signs. He does so many signs and one to prove who son of God are not written in the Bible. Amen. Amen. But these are written for a reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. That we might believe in that Jesus Christ what? Is the son of God, right? So that's why the miracle was done by Jesus Christ. Even though even when he done the miracle, some still, still did not believe. They still did not believe he was the son of God. But he performed no miracles to those who believe that they might believe that what? He is the son of the living God. What man can live today? Take some mud and put it into your eye and tell you to go wash in the pool and you'll come see him. The life of Jesus. And that's a miracle, church. That's a miracle. Amen. And see, if we, if we stay with the book, the Bible, the word of God, we will have a division of religion work. But when we begin to see it the way we want to see it, and what we think it ought to be, and put our feelings in it, and start staying with what the word of God teaches, then we will have a lot of division and different opinions in the church as well. But when we say the Bible, the word of God, we'll be all able to see the same. Mm -hmm. I used to believe today that God will send the Holy Spirit. And send the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit would teach the vision among the people of God. I don't believe that God would send the Holy Spirit and tell the Holy Spirit to tell one man I'm going to be a Baptist. One man I'm going to be a Church of Christ. One man I'll be a Methodist. The Holy Spirit, one man I'll be a Presbyterian preacher. The Holy Spirit does not teach the vision. The Holy Spirit will win the one thing that when I sent to teach the vision. Well, the Holy Spirit said, let there be no division among you, that you all speak the same thing, what? And mind the same thing. If we all have the same spirit, we all be speaking, what? The same thing, right? The same thing, which is what? The Word of God, right? We're not divided by what the Holy Spirit teaches. We're divided by what man teaches. Like we have a problem now. They say, uh, uh, they call a lot of things miracles today. But biblical miracle is miraculous miracles as well. On the day of Pentecost, that was a miracle performed. Yeah. How you know, Brother Rochelle? Mm -hmm. The apostles spoke in tongues, yeah. mm -hmm. and they spoke in 17 different languages. And they were in nobody's school. Mm -hmm. They were never taught by nobody. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said they spoke, and the Spirit gave them others. That means they were able to speak in those who spoke in Rome, those who spoke in, in, in Spanish. Yeah. Whatever language they spoke on their Pentecost, right. the Arabic, the apostles themselves spoke Arabic. But whatever language they were able to speak, they were able to speak in that language and the people understood what they were saying. Right. They weren't just jabbering. Right. They understood what they were saying. Right. And that was a miracle 
day of Pentecost as well. And today, if you want to go to your nation and speak to all the nations of people, you better go to school and learn that language. They have to learn the language. The Holy Spirit guided them. And they spoke in all those different languages on the day of Pentecost as well. That was a miracle, right? On the day of Pentecost. And another miracle also uh, in Acts chapter, chapter 6. We find that when they chose the seven, they chose the seven. Stephen and Philip had the gift of miracles. Stephen went and performed miracles and signs, right? To what? To confirm what? The word of God, right? Now show me a man today can confirm Signs and wonders. And, and when you look at it, I'm going to show you in a minute. When you look at it, the signs and wonder was a sign for the apostles. And then when you look at it, look at Acts chapter 5, Peter had the power to perform miracles. He had to trust nobody. Amen. The Bible said that as the shadow. Right. Of Peter. All right. Just a shadow yeah. of Peter. Yeah. And now people got there in bed and couches. Yeah. People with, uh, yeah. uh, with, 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 with evil spirit. And the Bible said they were all what? Healed, right? Yeah. Oh, the book says, right? Yeah. Look at Acts chapter 5 right quick. Acts chapter 5. Let's look at it right quick. Acts chapter 5. I, 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 this is a miracle, Trey. When I just can walk by you and you lay in your bed sick and then you can you get up and make me made whole. That's a miracle, right? Amen. That's a miracle. Now watch the word of God, Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5. Know what the Bible says in Acts chapter 5. You know what? Just read it. Drop down the verse. Acts chapter 5, verse number uh, number 12. Know what it says. And by the hands of the apostles. The hands of the apostles, right, read. Were many signs and wonders. Many signs and wonders. A wonder, what, right, read. Among the people. Among the people. The who, people. Now, who worked them? Then everybody worked them, right? Amen. By the hands of the apostles, Amen. signs and wonders will work, right? Mm -hmm. The apostles worked signs. That's why I know that 120 did not receive the baptism of the Holy on the day of Pentecost. Mm -hmm. But we look at Acts chapter 2, it was the signs of the apostles. Working miracles in Acts chapter 2. Amen. So the, the Bible specifies of those who are working signs and wonders. Read. Among the people. Among the people. They were all with one accord. With one accord, read. Solomon's porch. Solomon's read. And, and of that, and of the rest, thus no man. No man, read. Uh, John himself to them, joined himself to them, but the people magnified. Why does that read? And believe, and believe. Well, the, uh, more and to the Lord. Lord. Multitudes, both men and women. So, 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 so when the sign of the apostle performed, and, and the people saw it, more people were added to the church, right? Mm -hmm. That means they were added, they were baptized as well. It don't say baptism there, but if you know in Acts 2, that day that glad to receive were baptized, about 3,000 souls, in verse 4 and 7, the Lord added to the church daily such as to be saved. How do I add to the church? They add to the church when they obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. So multitudes of people are added to the Lord, right? How do I add it? When they heard the gospel, right? Mm -hmm. And they obeyed the gospel mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Now watch the word of God read. In so much that they brought forth the sick and the Now, now no one said, even as they became members of the church, they brought forth what? Sick into the street. Sick people into the street. And laid them on beds. Now it'll be amazing if we can go get one of these preachers on TV. What that man name? He got them gold chairs and stuff. Peter Papa. Peter Papa. <laughs> if we can go get him, bring him folks out of Brad County Hospital. And he just walked by him and they did make holes. Peter Papa ain't coming. You know why he ain't coming? He ain't got the power. Amen. See, see, the apostles, they had the power. Yeah. Jesus, I'm going to give you power. I'm going to give you power. I mean, I'm going to give you authority, right? I'm going to give you power. Cast a devil here to sick. All my I'm going to give you what? Power, right? Yeah. But those men who claim they had the power, they won't demonstrate it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you that in a minute, too, also. <laughs> now, 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 why is the word of God? Read. They lay them on beds and on couches. They don't bed and couches. Read. At least a shadow. At least a shadow. Of 
continue to read. By my overshadowed. Overshadowed him. Uh -huh. There came also a multitude out of the cities around about. Around about everywhere. Read, read. Go ahead. Bringing sick folk. Sick folk. And them which were vexed with unclean spirits. Unclean spirit. Read. And they were healed everyone. No, not some of them. Every one of them, right? Now, why they were healed? Because the apostle had the power to heal all sickness. And no one did. Now, no one asked you, well, did they have faith in it? No. You don't read that, don't you? They have to ask it. When you got the power, you can demonstrate it. Amen. There are other cases where Jesus asked, your faith made you whole. But there were cases where Jesus did not ask of their faith. Another example, the centurion. Yes. The centurion came to Jesus, right? Yes. But the man needed made whole, he was at home. Yes. The, the man that needed to be made healed, he, he didn't come to Jesus. But he was healed on the, on the faith of the centurion, right? Yeah. So the Bible says it was a distant healing. Yeah. And he says, at thy, at thy word, thy servant is made whole, right? Yeah. So Jesus did a distant healing, and he had to be there to touch nobody, and that man was made whole. So if you got the power, you can do it, right? If you don't have the power, you can't do it. God gave them the power to perform these miracles, and no man had that power today. That's right. There ain't no miracle you came out of God, right? Amen. Yeah, remember when somebody prayed about the Bible said the prayer of faith will save the sick. Amen. When you pray for, for, for the sick, and the pray, it's all the prayer of faith, and the, faith, the prayer of faith will heal the sick. So when we pray for one another, it's God's will, God, the prayer of the faith will heal the sick. That's right. Amen. Now, Acts chapter 8, Philip went down to the city of Samaria. He had the gift of miracles. And the Bible said he performed the miracle. Let's know what the Bible says. Look at Acts chapter 8. Know the Bible in verse number, number, number 10, 10, 11, 12. Acts chapter 8. To whom? To whom? Gave he to he? From the least to the greatest. To the least what? To the greatest. To the greatest. Read. Saying. Saying. This man is the great power of God. Great power of God. Read. And to him they had regard because of that a long time. He had bewitched. No, 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 no. And the witchcraft man had these folks food. Yeah. But the miracle that Philip gonna perform, it, they're gonna believe in the preaching of Philip. Now watch this. But when they believe Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God, King of God and the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, they were baptized. Baptized and men and women, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's verse number 12, right? right. But we go back up to verse uh, uh, number. Look at verse number uh, four. Four. I'll go with you in the draw of Philip. Four. Let me see what I want. Verse number four. Now you know verse number four. Look at verse, let me get that right quick. Look at verse number six and seven. Now watch the word of God. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip Phil spake. Hearing and seeing the miracle. Hearing and seeing what? The miracle. Which he did. The miracle that he did, right? Hearing and what? Seeing. Mm -hmm. See, remember something performed, right? Mm -hmm. They seen the miracle that Philip performed. They seen the miracle. Right, read. For unclean spirits. Unclean spirit. And with loud voices. And loud voices, right? Came out of a minute. Came out of a minute. And what man had the power today to cast out devils? Uh -huh. What man had the power today to cast out devils? They can say they cast out devils. Mm -hmm. But what man had the power today to cast out devils? The apostles had the power, not only to work miracles, but they had the power to cast out devils. Mm -hmm. And the spirit and the unclean spirit came out. They didn't say any, they came out. Because the apostles had what? Had the power, right? Go ahead. And many take them with palsy. The palsy read. Now that's enough. So I want to show you that even Philip, Stephen, both worked miracles, right? So we know during the astrological day, during the days of the apostles, miracles were performed. And miracles were performed to prove that the apostle was sent by God. Mm -hmm. Even in the 19th chapter book of Acts, we find even just taking the handkerchiefs from Paul. Mm -hmm. The handkerchief from Paul. Mm -hmm. That shows you the power that they had. Yeah. The handkerchief they were made whole, right? Yeah. Even though Jews uh, uh, they, they this, they had special power. And when the unclean spirit came out of those men, uh, they didn't jump on Paul. Mm. 
They said, Paul, we know. Yeah. But Jesus, we know. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> they recognized the authority that Paul had, didn't they? Amen. They recognized the authority that came from who? Jesus Christ, right? And he said, Jesus, we know. And Paul, we know. But who is you? <laughs> God's clean feet ran out of hot naked, didn't he? <laughs> 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 Miracles <laughs> were formed on the apostolic age. Mm -hmm. It was formed for a reason, right? Amen. Yeah. To confirm what? The word of God, right? Mm -hmm. To demonstrate it. See, when people got the spirit and got the power, well, they can be able to demonstrate that they have that power, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the Bible again. First Corinthians chapter 2. Knows the Bible. Listen to what Paul says here. First chapter 2. It's going to give me second Corinthians chapter, chapter 12 for a minute. Hold it there. Now, well, watch the word of God. First Corinthians chapter 2. Know what it says. And I, brother. And I, brother. When I came to you. I came to you. Came with excellent, speech, excellent speech, right? Read. Of wisdom. Of wisdom, right? Declaring unto you the testimony of God. Now he said, declaring unto you the testimony of God. Now how did you come, Paul? Go ahead. For well, I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. That's all you, I want to know about it. Jesus Christ and crucified. Then when I come to you, I want to talk about Jesus and him crucified. And I say he don't know anything. But when I come among you, I turn my know anything but, but by Jesus and crucified. When you preach the gospel, it's all about Jesus. When you preach the church, it's all about Jesus, right? Paul said, I turn no anything on money but Christ and him what? Crucified, right? The death of Christ, the crucifixion of Jesus, his resurrection, his plan of salvation, the church he died for. All I want to know about. Read. And I was with you. I with you. In weakness. In weakness. And in fear. And in fear. Read. And it must tremble. It must tremble. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words. Enticing words. Read. Man wisdom. Man wisdom. Right. Read. The demonstration of the spirit. No, no, no. And he said, say with the demonstration mm -hmm. of the spirit mm -hmm. and of power. Right. Mm -hmm. He said, I didn't come with man wisdom. Mm -hmm. I didn't come with the excellence of speech. Mm -hmm. But I came with you demonstrating the power mm -hmm. that I had. And not with the wisdom of man, right? Paul had to, Paul demonstrated his power. Mm -hmm. He showed that he had the power to perform miracles and to work miracles, right? Mm -hmm. He showed it, right? Amen. And, and I had to demonstrate. You're like a man said, I, I want to demonstrate something to you. Yeah. I want to demonstrate to you how this car performed. Mm -hmm. Paul said, I want to show you the power that I have that Jesus Christ gave to me. I'm able to work miracles. Mm -hmm. And watch the word of God. Second so chapter 12. Know what he said. The signs of the apostles. Know what he said. Truly the signs of the apostles will work among you. Truly the sign of the apostles. Yeah. See, the apostles had the power. Mm -hmm. They will work among you. Paul said, You saw mm -hmm. the signs of an apostle. Read. Okay, among you in all patience. In all patience. And signs and wonders. And wonders. And mighty deeds. And mighty deeds. Amen. Now we look at Hebrews chapter 2. Let's turn it right quick. And we go through the Bible for a minute. Hebrews chapter 2. Watch the word of God. Hebrews chapter 2. Hebrews chapter 2. Let's notice that right quick. Therefore you ought to give a more earnest heed, heed. to the things which we have heard. Uh heard. Any time we should let, let them, them slip. Slip. read on. For if the word spoken by angels was Fast and every transgression, transgression. and disobedience, made a just recompense, recompense or reward. Or reward. I shall we escape if we neglect, neglect the so greater salvation. salvation. And that greater salvation is the gospel of Jesus Christ. If we neglect that greater salvation, then if they did not escape on the day of Moses, how should we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? That means if we neglect the gospel of Jesus Christ, that great salvation. We're not going to escape. Amen. <coughs> We're going to get eternal fire. Amen. That's how you know once saved, always saved. Amen. <laughs> once in Christ, never out. That's, that's, that's not true. Amen. Once saved, always saved. That's not true. It's a greater salvation. If you didn't let that, how should we escape? Watch the word of God. Read. 
the establish which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, Lord. and was confirmed unto us. Now, now spoken by the Lord, I mean Jesus spoke in it first, uh -huh. or, and during his earthly ministry, uh -huh. he taught it, uh -huh. he taught the gospel, uh -huh. and it was confirmed to us by the miracle that Jesus performed, right? Read. Uh -huh. God also burned them witness. witnesses, both with signs, the signs and, wonders, and wonders, and with divers miracles, a miracle, and read. The gift of the Holy Ghost. Gift of the Holy Ghost, right? Of his own will. Of his own will. So God, God, God burned it with signs and wonders and gift what? A miracle and, uh, and the gift of the Holy Ghost, right? So God burned them. Mm -hmm. Who is them? The apostles. Mm -hmm. Burn them. Mm -hmm. So are miracle people performed today? No. No. Do anybody have this power to perform a miracle like the apostles have? No. Hey, no. no. <laughs> how did Paul, how did Timothy get the gift of prophecy by laying on, on the hand of the apostles? Mm -hmm. how, did, how did they get those spiritual gifts? The apostles laid hand on them. Somebody said, "Well, what, what about First Timothy chapter the folk at the Presbyterian?" Well, but you have to read Second Timothy chapter two, where Paul said, "Tim, you receive prophecy by the laying on my hand." Paul referred to him being the person to, uh, to him by the land on his hand that Timothy had the gift of the Holy Spirit yes. as well. And Timothy had the gift of prophecy. Mm -hmm. But Timothy still had to study mm -hmm. to show himself approval unto God yes. as well. Miracles does not miraculous are performed today. Amen. But if you want to go to heaven, you got to hear Jesus Christ. You got to do it His way. Amen. You can't do it the way of man. Let's talk about the power. As I'm closing, the power that the apostles had. Peter go into the house of Darkness, which is called Tabitha. Peter go inside and he prayed and said to be to arise. Mm -hmm. What man have that power today mm -hmm. to go into a house mm -hmm. and tell a dead person mm -hmm. to rise? Amen. What man have that power Amen. today? Amen. But the apostle had that power. Yes. How do I know they had that power? Because Jesus gave them that power. Yes. Even though his ministry, he said, I'm going to give you power. Yes. I'm going to give you authority. Yes, and they had the power. And they laid hands on others to give them the gift of the Holy Spirit as well. And today that power has ceased. Yes. Amen. But we have something better than that power. Amen. We have the gospel. Yes. Yes. The gospel is better than any miracle. Mm -hmm. Because the gospel is the power to save mankind as well. Amen. That's why Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believes, to the Jew first, also to we have we have the gospel. And that's why Jesus said, Greater work than these ye shall do. We have that power. We have the gospel yes. of Jesus Christ. That's a greater work when we share the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's the power. Amen. You need to obey that power this afternoon. Amen. You heard the word, believe the gospel, that Jesus died on the cross and he was buried and rose again on the third day. Mm. Repent of your sins. Have a change of mind. Confess Christ as being the Son of God. Yes. And be willing to go down in water baptism for remission of your sin. Yes, sir. yes miracles have ceased. Amen. Tongues have seat. Amen. When I say tongues have seat in, in a miraculous way, tongues Amen. have seat. Knowledge have seat. Mm -hmm. Knowledge in a miraculous way. Mm -hmm. And when you have to study, yes. have seat. Mm -hmm. But now by faith, hope, and charity. Mm -hmm. And charity is the greatest yes. of the three. Amen. If you're here, you want to be saved, will not you come? I've sinned against you, Lord, and I admit that I've done wrong. I'm just like the prodigal son.
attention? Is there any question? Biblical question. I want to say let's continue to keep our faith in the word of God. Amen. No matter how they paint a good picture in their sermons, <coughs> keep your faith in the word of God. Amen. Let's stay with the word of God. Let's stand on God's word by faith. And you know, I, I want to say that because that some of my, my, my greatest, uh, I put it, my friends in the gospel, my colleagues, you know, we sometimes disagree. Mm -hmm. uh, as we sometimes disagree today about Miro. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 but when, when, I, when I began to talk to him and share with him, I said when sick folks are healed, it healed by the faith of those who are praying for them as well. The prayer of the righteous is God's will. Right. But he began to say that, he began to look at it and say, well, when I pray, when you pray for somebody, if they be healed, it's a miracle. That's not a miracle. Mm -hmm. But I had to explain to him, and he's the older man I am, I had to explain to him, I said, that's not a miracle, brother. You know, it, it, uh, and the prayer of faith will save the sick. Mm -hmm. And the prayer of the righteous avails much. But it's, that's not a miracle. You know, and, and then, 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 you know, preachers disagree, but we got to understand that the final answer is in the Bible, yes. Yes. the Word of God as well. Go ahead, Brother Davis. I think the question of what the brother was saying was that God is still performing miracles, yeah. and that when we say that God is not performing miracles, that we can put God in a box. Mm. But God is not performing miracles today. Right. That's right. He's not performing miracles today. Right. The miracle age has ceased. Mm. Remember, if God of hell needs to form miracles today, because the word of God has been established, and, and, and we have the perfect law right. of liberty. But Jesus has been proven he's the son of God as well. The apostles proved they were sent by God. We have the word of God, so God has no reason to form miracles to us today. We must accept the word by faith. Mm -hmm. By faith as well. Uh, another question. Turn your hand to brother. Come from the 